Turn up your pop up. Now we're live now. Right. We are back live in the studio. I'm going to tell y'all right now, that's going to keep happening until I work out all the kinks. Now, conventional wisdom probably would have said, why don't you just wait till you get everything right? No. I'll tell you why. Because the way my brain works, when I'm ready to do something, I'm ready to do it. Yeah, so, he don't listen to me. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to listen to you because you always want to wait. I tell you how to do something. You would, see, I said I was going to try to cuss today, and already you started to mess with me. <laughs> Producer, you want me to wait, and I ain't waiting because... It's, it's a balance that we ain't figured out yet. He want to wait until perfect. He'll get rid of the, the good for the perfect, and I'm not going to wait that long. Me, yeah, I'm in post. I'm going to do what I got to do, but we back to making sticky wings and these damn uh, chicken wings. Okay, back to what I was saying. It's a real simple sauce. I'm going to sit here right now, and I'm going to tell you right now, today I don't feel like doing the whole eyeball and measuring stuff, and I'm going to tell you why. Because part of this is because we supposed to be doing create simple meals. And some of y'all ain't gonna be going out there grabbing no uh, measuring cups and doing all that. So I'm an eyeball it. Now, I'm a professional, at least I played one before. I kinda know what I'm looking at. So although the ingredients say 10, uh, what's it say, 10 tablespoons of uh, brown sugar, we kinda go all about that too. Next thing you go put in is some soy sauce. Now, the soy sauce is for salinity. Go from there. So don't say half a cup, half a cup, about that much. Looks about a half a cup to me. From there, grab this, whisk this around a little bit while that's boiling. Oh, I was talking to some friends slash viewers slash hopefully uh, permanent followers, and they were like, you should tell what you're drinking sometime. I'm going to do it, but I'm going to tell you right now. Some of the parts of this show that happened that some of y'all tune in and learn how to cook some of y'all tune in to see what the heck I'm going to say crazy this week. Some of y'all just tune in because y'all love me and y'all want to see me succeed. Whatever the case may be, this week I'm drinking a wine called Griffon. It's, anybody know me? I'm not no onophile. That's a big word. Look it up. I'm not no onophile but this uh, this uh, wine I love it. I always get it from Trader Joe's it's like $4.99 a bottle I promise you I go through, anytime we have a holiday party, what, about three, three of these, Tyrone? About three, yeah. three bottles? Don't yeah, about yeah. three of these bottles when I'm, when I'm doing it. Now, soy sauce, molasses. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now for the molasses. The molasses is used to give it that little bit of sweetness. You can use molasses, you can use honey. You already got brown sugar in it, it's the taste. The recipes, nothing about these recipes, why y'all, so some of y'all might be wondering, well, wait a minute, dude. Who recipes is these? I'm glad you asked. So now I'm going to tell you. They ain't mine. There's recipes people sent me, recipes I found, recipes. Some of them I have developed, but this is not one of them. This was actually on somebody else's website. I took it. I took it to myself. Just like y'all going to take these recipes and tweak it to yourself. So add a little bit of that in there. Uh, you get a little the, 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 the shot, shot. That's good. Um, put a little molasses in there. The recipe calls for chopped or uh, what they call it, minced ginger. Two things you can do. Three things you can do. A, you can do what I did on a couple other videos and actually mince the bit ginger. B, you can go buy that already minced ginger. I'm not a big fan of that because that oil leaves a chemical taste. I use it sometimes, but not often. C. Get some garlic powder. Man, look, the, if you want the texture of it, then yeah, you will put some uh, some uh, granulated ginger. But if you just want the taste of it, you ain't got to do all that. Just like I said, again, it's, it's, it's create simple meals for a reason. It should be simple. The recipes are guidelines, not rules. If you've seen some of my other videos, you will know as I say, there aren't any rules in cooking, except for the rules I've told y'all before, which is passion, patience, and practice. This one got to a fast boil, so I'm trying to turn it down a little bit. Ginger. I actually went and bought some uh, fresh ginger, and I was gonna go through all that and do it, but I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing it today. Uh, I don't feel like it. Now, again, this ain't plan, it's just the way it is. When you read these recipes online, mine or anybody else's, 
Sometimes you can tweak. Remember, you're trying to keep it simple. You're creating a simple meal for your family, for yourself. You're not trying to make a whole bunch of extra work about it. Again, this right here, simple sauce we're gonna do. We're gonna fry up these wings in a minute after I get this sauce right. And I gotta do two sauces. One is already pre-made because the producer don't do spices. So <laughs> we gotta deal with that. Just add it to the world, huh? I'm gonna add it to the world on that one. Um, sriracha. Now, what this say on here? Uh, I don't care. It actually says sriracha or any other spice with condiment to taste. My daughter uses sriracha like ketchup. So, Christian, I hope you like the uh, spicy. Oh, in case y'all wondering, I've kind of cleaned up my, my vernacular son. We got cheering in the house today. So I'm trying my best to be respectful. And also I'm trying to respect y'all out there because some of y'all just don't appreciate my very blue collar uh, language. And uh, it ain't about me as somebody told me. It's about y'all. Mix this up right here. You know, let me move these out here. Again, trust me, these purple tree pills. So, again, we're making uh, sticky wings. The process, because I know some of y'all ain't going to sit here the whole time we make this. We're going to fry some naked wings. We're going to toss them in this sauce. We're going to throw them in the oven, about five, six minutes, something like that. Take them back, put them back in the sauce, because that's what's going to make it super, super sticky. Going from there to up there, I'm going to this shirt now. Y'all figure out what it means, but a buddy of mine, and they ain't paid me to do this, hell, I paid for the shirt, because hell, I designed the shirt. Alt Tees, A-L-T-T's, uh, cool. If you got a website or something like that, you watch it, I'll tell you later on, tag it in the comments, but Alt Tees, they make very reasonable price, custom-made shirt. You figure what this means, see what that is, that, 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 because I don't. Meaning, basically, some of the comments I just don't care about, and some of them I do. When you start coming in with the, hey man, I wouldn't have put that in that. I figured it out. And what's what you figured out? Your shirt. What? Oh, you figured it out? Yeah. Yeah, don't say it. Okay. This is a PG <laughs> show today. So, uh, see, I'm going I'm to find a way to get my message across. Some of y'all comments, I appreciate it. And some, you sitting there telling me, I wouldn't have put that in. I would have put this. Okay. I can tell you from the beginning, you make the meal whatever you want it to make. There ain't no rules to this. If you decide you want to put peanut butter in here, put peanut butter in here. I don't care. Make it your meal. But please don't don't call criticizing and critiquing about that. Now, everything else as far as format, vernacular, speech, the absence of music, which I keep asking y'all to send me somebody that want to do some music, all that type of stuff, please critique criticize, critique, comment on. I need that. I grow from that. I try to take everything that y'all tell me and incorporate it to an extent. So please tell me that. But if you try to tell me, I don't like peas, okay, then guess what? Double peas. Simple as that. It ain't that hard of a deal. All right. Now, that's done. Molasses. I'm going to tell you right now, I am going to do some extra stuff right now because I feel like doing some extra stuff right now. And I'm going to tell you why. This particular sauce if y'all seen the montage of the video I put up of the of the uh, teriyaki, not the teriyaki, the uh, salmon sandwich I did, mm -hmm. basically same sauce. So this sauce is actually versatile. I tend to make more sauce than I need to because I'm the sauce boss. But when I do, I just repurpose it. So the sauce I made was that last night night for night, night for last for that teriyaki sandwich. It's not spicy at all. So that sauce. Is what we got to reheat up for Tyrone, but I'm not gonna make him no fresh sauce. I mean, what y'all think this is? Create some I'm making several sauces. We're not doing that. But you can repurpose the sauces. If you wanna make it spicy today, make it spicy today. You wanna make it uh not so spicy, you do what you want with it. But I like the sauce because it's actually an alternative, or it's a uh, not alternative, it's versatile. Meaning you can tweak it, start off once you get the basics down, and hear that, oh, it's just a uh kind of a mixture of a savory and sweet sauce. Now, if you want to make it more savory, you want to make it more salty, you want to make it more uh, spicy, you can do that. But the basics of the sauce, that's why on the recipe, I actually typed in that this spicy condiment of your choosing, I'm using sriracha. You can use that almiac, I think it's called, something like that. Um, you can use whatever you want, but it's optional for those of you who don't like spice or people like me who I have a a family of mixed eaters. My wife does not like spicy food. 
my daughter thinks she's Cajun, Creole, half Jamaican, and Indian, and she's trying to get all the spice in the world. So a statue just mixed in there. Huh? So a statue just mixed in there. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, cornstarch slurry. So basically, y'all heard other videos before this. Cornstarch is going to thicken it up real fast. And this is where I'm going to tell you exactly what I said about deviation. I'm going to deviate. Why? Because the night before last when I was making this base sauce, I said, I want some burning. So guess what I did? Somebody guess. Somebody guess. Yep, I added some bourbon. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So since I ain't drinking bourbon tonight, Hey Christian, do me a favor. Go in there and tell your mama. Uh, she bring don't want to get Ashley. Huh? She want to go get Ashley. Look, Ashley. Oh, go in there in the kitchen in one of them drawers and find me a spoon. The spoon that's gonna fit in my mouth. You bring out a ladle. This show gonna go back to cussing <laughs> real fast. And I'm trying my best not to cuss today. Now, what we got to do right now, and for those who's watching, please. Let me know. I'm about to light this heater up, not the heater, the um, fryer up, and it's gonna get loud. Let us know, give us some feedback if it's too loud to the point you can't hear. Cause then we'll know that next time we gotta do this as a production video, not a live video. The reason I like doing the live video because with these production type videos that we see on a lot of food channels, you don't see the mishaps, you don't see what's gonna happen. And I'm gonna tell you right now, every week, the night before I go live, whatever night it is, I get nervous because I'm like, man, what's going to happen? Because you never know what's going to happen. This is why, for those who have been in my house for holidays and cooking, appreciate you, boss. Uh, I have a set time for people to show up because I can't have too many distractions because something's going to happen. And I don't need to deal with all that. Oh, now, see right there? If y'all remember from that gumbo, but anybody watch that, how it took so long, this is why I love this burning. Anything that I use, if they ain't paying me, I'm gonna put the link to it in the comments later on. So if you want to get it, you can get it, but I'm not gonna be plugging folks that ain't paying me. But see how thick that is just that fast? This really does not take that long to do. Real thick, real fast. Now, the good and bad about the good thing about this, you can always thin it out. You ain't gonna like that, buddy. Because how, yeah, uh huh. So that's why I go eat. That's spicy. It's good. But oh my God, it's spicy. Yeah, somebody, uh, Joetta Golden says, nice, JV. Thank you. I grew up with her. Okay, now, we're about to light this fryer. I had the lighter somewhere. And let me know if it gets a little bit too loud. I can't do nothing about it if it gets too loud. I'm going to tell you that right now. We just don't have all of that sound equipment as of yet. Uh, we will get there, but it might get a little bit loud because I'm about to turn a, a, a jet engine on right about now, so it might happen. We got to fry the wings, and y'all want fried wings. All right, while that's doing that, we're going to take out this chicken. Remember I told you. Stinking rooms? See, I wasn't going to plug them. Oh. You're the one always telling me about not saying stuff, because you know I don't care. Did you tell me something that you said, yeah, it was stinking rose. Went to stinking rose last night. I had the crab. Now, as a Ron Cole rotisserie guy used to say back in the day, garlic. You, eat it, you sleep well. You sleep alone, but you sleep well. But the food was good. I like garlic, so I'm going to put as much garlic on this as I can addition to the garlic that's in there. And then I, if I'm not mistaken, this chili sauce has a, 
argument as well. Now, I'm not going to post this uh, today, but it was on the uh, salmon video. We're going to eat with this. It's a little cucumber thing. I'll tell you, most of them are real simple. I took up some uh, cucumbers, chopped them up, put a little sesame seed oil on there, some vinegar, sugar, let that sit down. My wife saw it, and as soon as she saw it, she didn't think she was gonna like it, she loved it. Real simple. That's another one of them things, and I'll put that in there as well, but I'm just letting you know uh, what's going through my head while I'm thinking right about that. Also, somebody asked me about holiday help, as far as uh, tips and uh, whatnot. Email me, ask me, at createsimplemeals.com. Email me or if you're on Facebook, inbox me. But for those who watch this on YouTube, email me and ask me at createsimplemeals.com. And I'll respond as fast as I can, but I know Christmas is next week. Um, I thought about doing some type of Christmas. Uh,
part in creating simple film is very subjective. What's simple for you might be extremely difficult for me, and vice versa. So that's what I'm saying. Send me your recipes. The only thing, there's one thing I will not do. Sushi. I'm not playing vote and ceviche. I'm not doing it. I don't, I don't play with raw food. I eat it, but I'm not going to play around with it. I don't know the safety rules behind that, and I'm not trying to get me or anybody else sick. All right, check this before I get While that's going on, uh, again, as far as the um, music, I can't stress enough, because y'all see, it's, it's kind of hard to keep content going on while we doing live, and if there was some type of music or something in the background, it would be lovely. Please, please, if you have someone, start this up, it's starting to get stick a little bit. If you have some, that's a matter of fact, you, that you see how thick it's it's gotten it just sitting there. Now, I'm doing it this thick because I, I want my wings extremely sticky, but you see it got super, super thick. But if you have someone that got some music and they want to plug it in, please uh, let me know. Still ain't even already cut. Huh? It's too late, you can already cut. Hey. I oh, said so you already cut, it's too late. I didn't cuss a lot today. I don't think I've been cussing a whole lot today. Matter of fact, I didn't cuss today. I said, I think when I said hell or something like that, I ain't even know a whole bunch of cussing. Man, don't be stressing me out on that. I wonder, that's why, anybody mentioned about the, uh, look at the comments, anybody mentioned about the noise. That's why my concern was. Okay, so it ain't, it's not feedback like that.
Yeah, I mentioned it. No, it's uh, a lot. Yeah. Uh, as, as much as I would love to be a real studio, it really is my house. Okay. We won't be going in and out, forgetting that the, the front door might be wide open. Um, I 
hope they got a way of trying to renew there and put it in there. Then for the holiday help, if you guys are really in need of tips for the holidays, one tip I can tell you right about now. Because with Christmas next week, Christmas, Christmas is coming up. Here's a tip. This ain't about the wind. This is a tip that I've followed. been following for over 10 years now. It works for me. Start A, whenever you're going to start cooking for Christmas, especially when you're the same type of thing Thanksgiving, go right now, buy, start buying your stuff that's not too perishable or has a long shelf life, and start using it. Such as yams. Today is Tuesday. You can buy your yams, cut them up on Friday, put them in some water, and they'll be fine with the candy yams next week. Same with your pot. You can make your pot if you did Thanksgiving. You made the pot two days early. Throws them, took them out, and nobody knew the difference. Start making it now because it'll make it more than that. It'll make your life a whole lot easier. All right. Now that we're here, again, I don't recommend doing this. Now I'm about to go and drop the ingredients. Because I'm tired of, of cooking, just like the two of y'all that are still watching. It's time to wash it. Oh, we're up to three. Three, y'all. Appreciate that third person. It's up to four, then. Ah, man, we up to four. Here we go. Here we go. But the good thing about going live is it's, the video is going to be here forever. All right. We're going to drop these things in here. A couple over here. Over there. I don't 
know light, just like I don't know geography, I don't know sound, I don't know none of this. What I do know how to do, and I'm not taking this away from me ever, I know how to cook. I know how to cook well. And I'm hoping these videos help you cook well. I know some of y'all have tried the recipes. Please, if you tried any of my recipes like Beverly did, I can't come to all your house and get all your food, but show me a, 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 a picture of it. Let me see what you did. And if you put a twist on it, tell me that too, so I can you know, incorporate it. It might be something I want to do. All right, let me check on these ways. While that's cooking, let me go ahead and get this Tyrone bowl. This ass don't want no hot wings. This is everybody else's bowl. Then we gonna do. sitting there watching the food and you see exactly now what it goes through of course they got way bigger but let me put some water in your sauce all the time right? that's one of the reasons I make the sauce as I mentioned earlier about making it super thick is because I can make it stretch I can actually use this sauce thank you over and over again. What we're gonna do right now, we're gonna take these wings. I'm gonna get yelled at because they ain't gonna be like, y'all keep using my air fryer and then y'all don't clean it. <laughs> and I'm gonna say, Kim did it. <laughs> you can't lie when it's on, we got a video. I'm about to say, bro, you got okay. Yeah. It's kind of hard to, to lie when, when you don't record the evidence. Anyway, take these in right here, as y'all see. Now, here's the thing. If you don't want to go through all this to make them extra heavy, y'all see this getting messy because I'm not going to do the whole clean and cook. Matter of fact, my wife says, you know you need to uh, clean and cook like the other shows. Anybody want to be a, a, a production assistant? <laughs> y'all come out here and I clean and cook and cook and clean. Well, actually, y'all be doing the 
cleaning, I'm be doing the cooking. What we gonna do this here? I'm gonna leave some of these out because damn it, I'm hungry right now. Put this in here. Let's say five minutes. Uh, we ain't trying to be advertising nobody. All right, we're gonna let that cook about five, six, eight minutes. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, we're not gonna go the eight minutes that you're gonna see on the recipe, I'm gonna tell you why. Some of y'all are gonna follow the recipe exactly as I'm gonna post it. And if you follow the recipe exactly as I post it, then yes, you need to do the eight minutes. I don't follow nobody's recipe, including my own. I change stuff just because I feel like changing stuff. I made the sauce extra thick for a reason. That way, I ain't got to sit here waiting forever. Christian, do us a favor. Go get us a plate out the house um, so we can go and plate this up real quick. I made it extra thick for a reason. How do you make it extra thick? Remember, everything in the sauce stays the same except for that cornstarch slurry. That's what's going to thicken it up. The more you put, the thicker it gets. I like to make mine super thick because I like to save it. Looks like gelatin once it seasons up. You can take that. Put a little bit in the bowl, a little bit of water, heat it back up. Now, for those of you that are like, hey man, you know what, them wings might look fire and I might want to try them, but I'm not going through all that. Pro tip, and it's going to be in the recipe. Skip all the things y'all just saw me do. Every damn thing you saw. Fry your wings naked. Go get you some bottled teriyaki sauce. Pour that in the pan. Doctor it up with some brown sugar, whatever sweetener you want, or molasses or honey and then whatever hot sauce you want, either uh, sriracha or the salmonac or whatever it's called, back that way. I'm gonna tell you a, a true story. The year my mama died, all my family was in town and we were doing hot wings. And my cousin Monica, she lived in Baton Rouge. Appreciate it, boss. Uh, she did this uh, hot wing sauce. They got some hot sauce, A1, some sweetener and whatnot. Anyway, we ran out of chicken. I'm gonna tell you how versatile this sauce is. We actually ran out of chicken. But we did because the Thrash family, what we don't do, <laughs> we don't give up. We're gonna make a party of everything. We went, hey Stinks, happy birthday, baby. We went and got some pork chops. Cut them up into bite-sized yeah. pieces, fried pork. them up, and made hot pork chop bites. Mm -hmm. When I say the sauce is, I mean, this ain't, this ain't no fine yeah. dining. You ain't about to sit here and have no, uh, really? no, uh, what they call it? No, uh, five course meal. You ain't about to win no, no rest, no awards on this one, but you can make this sauce whatever you want. Now, I just told you right now, I made hot wings, I done made your sauce wings. I used the same sauce base and tweaked it a little bit for my salmon and teriyaki burgers that I made the other night. You can do whatever you want. Basic sauce. How's work? Thanks. How's work? Sorry about this. Ain't my cooking show. This is my daughter. Uh, what? Everything good? All right. Don't smoke the wire. All right. Hey. You, uh. Oh. Remember again. Sauce from last night. Hey. <laughs> sauce from last night. For Tyrone. Picking it up real quick. We're going to take his. Toss his in there. Turn this off. Again, Tyrone don't get the. Uh, Special treatment. Mine don't get air fried? Hell no, nah, y'all don't get air fried. No special uh, treatment. Because <laughs> it didn't get the original. Should have got it the way we made it. Now, just to show y'all real quick, if you don't want to go through all that extra stuff, but you're like, man, look, ain't nobody got time to be doing all that. You got to realize some of this is because you could have pre-made it. Some of this could be live. Some of this because we have a technical issue with the stop and start. Uh, but in any case, I'm going to tell you right now, any recipe y'all see that say 15 minutes prep, 15 minutes cook, 30 minutes meal, they're probably lying. Because as much as I am talking, y'all have never seen me stop cooking. So it ain't talking that make it go long. It's the fact that cooking takes time. Simple as that. Now. Mine look good, though. Shut up, Tom. <laughs> Now, normally you're supposed to do the whole little plating thing where I'm supposed to sprinkle, yada, yada, yada. Hey, do me a favor. Go get me another plate and get that bowl out the refrigerator. It's a metal bowl. Top shelf, foil on top of it. Run. See, 
You got it. What did the glove say? Move. <laughs> Get this out the way. Oh, y'all can't see this, and I need to do it tonight. I'm about to make. I gotta make that cider, the hard cider. Oh, I've been yeah, having that. that yeah, the kind of got them cleaned it out. Now I gotta brew it. So I'm gonna do that soon. I mean, more minutes. We got left. Three minutes, folks. Three minutes, folks. Uh, then we gonna let y'all see how this is, and then we gonna shut it down. We gonna we're gonna taste it. Max, I'm gonna let the baby taste it. Baby, this boy, that grown ass man. Uh, <laughs> I'm let Christian taste it. Uh, Hopefully, and somebody told me this, and it was true. I was saying about I started to grab some off the street to let them taste it. And she told me she was like, I don't care who you grab off the street, ain't nobody gonna believe them. They're gonna think it's a produced show. They're gonna think it's it's scripted. Okay, that's the case, so I, I give up that idea. But it really it really is not. Thank you, partner. Appreciate that. Appreciate this. Now I'm gonna show you this real quick, folks. Get this out the way. This is what I was talking about. About simple. Oh, simple creation. It's, some of y'all would not try it, but this right here. All I did was take some cucumbers, put some soy sauce, a little bit of garlic. Uh, some sugar, red wine vinegar. There's a couple of peppers in there. Hey, try it. Matter of fact, hold on before I have him do it. Chris, I want them. Be honest. You gotta do it. You know, see what you feel. That good. You like it? Real simple. That's what I'm saying about simple meals. Is it spicy? Is it spicy, Christian? You try it then, fool. That's you what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna try it. I put pepper in it, but it's, it's just pepper flakes. Try it, see what it's like. Oh, that's good. Real simple. I'm gonna tell you exactly why I did this, and I, I may or may not post. This is a this is a side. This is what you only get when you watch the live or watch the video that you post. Because everything mm -hmm. I ain't gonna write down because the way my mind works. So I wanna tell you some stuff. You gotta catch me when I say it. Mm -hmm. now. This right here. Cucumber, and I have a montage of it, so we're gonna once Tyrone edited in probably six months, it'll probably get posted. That's how long it take to do shit. <laughs> See, right there. <laughs> take a cucumber, cut it in half, cut it in quarters, diced it up. I took some red wine vinegar. We got one minute. Boiled it with the sugar, which basically a pickling sauce. Boiled it with some vinegar, sugar, whatever seasons you want. Toss that on top of these cucumbers. Click, click, click. Put in the refrigerator. Good. Now that was for tonight. But the night before, I did the exact same thing. I didn't boil it, put that back in. See, that's a testament right there. Because Tyrone is the one that's allergic to cilantro and everything else. He'd be lying. But that's a testament. He don't want me on camera. You see his hand keep coming in, <laughs> grabbing food. Same, same recipe. Cut the cucumbers. Don't boil it. Toss it and let it sit. It's a quick pickling recipe. Real simple, real fast. It's a simple meal. Now. This is not a pot holder. This is where the, the whole recipe is supposed to come in at. So I'm showing you what we're doing. Can you get a shot of that, please? We put it in the oven for a few minutes or so. We're gonna toss it right back in that sauce. Right back in. Now, I ain't gonna do all of them right now because time is of essence. But the reason you toss it back in, and I'm gonna show you the difference between, oh, you know what, this wasn't even planned, but this works. Difference between the producer's wings, which we wasn't gonna do, I can, I, I, I can hear Whitney cringing right now. Like, your plating skills suck. Put another one in there. 
Wanna go get another pick? Huh? Wanna go get another pick? Yeah, you can if you want to. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's put it over here. We can go right there. We about to eat family style like a mug over here. <laughs> if if y'all expected for everything to be all fancy today, <laughs> you obviously ain't been paying attention all the time if you came in here. Grab some more of these. Now, just to let you know, for those of you, because like my father, my, he don't like a lot of sauce. The way we did it when you put it in the oven, it bakes it on. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna leave that one for somebody to try just so they can see how it is. Uh, if you don't like the sticky sauce, but then again, why would you be making sticky wings? <laughs> but I'm just saying, if you don't like the sticky sauce, you can do it that way. These on there. Hey, you know what? Yeah, go get another plate, because, you know, your daddy get to start Bogart and put his arms in everybody away with he eat. <laughs> I want to knock his ass out since he drove way out here. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be nice to folks that's doing you a favor. That's what you should be. But uh, read your shirt, right? Exactly. Do it look like? <laughs> Cause I don't. <laughs> All right. Now, Christian about to go in there, and I get it. For those who's about to sit there and say, you fucking red wine, yeah. Chicken? Hey man, I drink scotch with sushi. Why? Because I like scotch and I like sushi. And there's no rules except for what's the rules? Whatever rules. Passion, patience, practice. All right, I'm going to try it. Actually, no. You had the wing already, Christian? Mm -hmm. Grab a wing, grab a wing, grab a wing. Let the daddy Yeah, don't you know? Why, he ain't got a bill. He ain't, look, look, I can call him all that. Just because you married to him, you can't be talking crazy about my producer. He said his little wings was pumped. <laughs> I like it. It's nice. Is it hot? Mm -mm. See? The sauce was hot when we was doing it, but by the time you start cooking out that capsaicin starts to boil out, you, you just would grab the... I'm trying to. Nah. It's mine! <laughs> See? I almost, I almost lost twenty five dollars right there. Let me go and see what the, what what this is doing. I don't like this. Mm -hmm. I can taste some of that spice sauce dripped on the mind. I got a little kick on my mm -hmm. right side. Chop Tyrone. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, it is. Mm. Mm hmm. And I don't like sweet food. Mm, sorry. Damn, my wife here, she had me a napkin. Just a quick point. So, Kim, his wife saying she don't like sweet meat. Some of y'all will have this and it's gonna be too sweet for you. If you go through the recipe, tone down the molasses or tone down the brown sugar. I put that in there because, again, I gotta balance out the heat and the sweet for my family. Whereas my wife would like the sweet, my daughter wants the heat. So. The 10 tablespoons that the recipe calls for for brown sugar, it might be a little bit too much for some of you. Some of you are like, I don't want no sweet meat. Tone it down. Or keep the brown sugar, kill some of the molasses, whichever one. If you don't have molasses, you don't want to use molasses, you don't like the taste of molasses, you can also use honey to do it. But whatever it is, you need a liquid sweet thickener if you want to achieve that stickiness, hey man, that's 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 just You've really ghetto. <laughs> like nobody needs to suck a bone like that. That's, that's, like, I mean, I, I mean, I appreciate the compliment, but that's 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 that's, that's pretty damn ghetto. Um, <laughs> like you look, hey, I'm just, just threw me all. I'm sitting there trying to get my my. I forgot the hell I was saying. I'm trying to get my point across. I see this fool over here sitting there sucking on bone like it's more chicken on the table. You can grab up this chicken. Anyway, you can adjust it however you want to. Now I'm gonna go through this. I gotta read this so I can actually see it. The brown sugar obviously is a sweet, but it's also because brown sugar is basically regular sugar with molasses put into it is going to make it sticky. The soy sauce is your salinity. If you don't like soy sauce, if you're one of the people that say, oh, soy sauce, you know, give men moves and soy sauce is not good, okay, whatever. I, don't, I ain't got time. I'm not, I'm not that woke. 
Now, if you don't want to use soy sauce, add salt. The uh, molasses, again, you can either use molasses or honey, agave syrup, or any type of liquid sweetener. Pepper? Apple says, uh, Apple Tucker says, what we cooking? Oh, Apple, I'm sorry, you're not been trying to go through those again. Uh, sticky wings, and the recipe is going to be in if I'm going through that now, but it's basically sticky hot wings. We made a quick sauce, fried the wings naked, dumped them into the sauce, took them out the sauce, put them in the oven for eight minutes at 400 degrees, took them out the oven, put them back in the sauce to give that stickiness. Now, if you see it, we see you talking, you're going to see it even get more sticky. But back to our same ingredients, if soy sauce is not something that you like, or it's something you have, you feel like health reasons you shouldn't have it, then add some other type of salinity, some other type of salt or something else to give you that savoriness. Because that's the only savory part that you're really going to get out of here other than the garlic. As far as the minced garlic, you only use minced garlic, you can use ground garlic I did tonight. Normally I do the minced garlic, but I'm tired, I'm tired, I wasn't going to do this tonight. But I already posted, I was going live, so I got to go live. The uh, ginger... I have fresh ginger, but this recipe don't cost that. You can use just regular old canned ginger and put that in there, mix it in. My rule of thumb is if it says three garlic cloves, to me that's a teaspoon of garlic. Ain't nothing gonna back me up on that. There is no science behind it. That's just what I said in my head and that's what I'm gonna stick with. Um, and then the sriracha. If you don't wanna use sriracha, you can use hot sauce. My favorite hot sauce, I know some of y'all is Louisiana and Rooster and Crystal. Alaska. I'm going to use Crystal. My family use Crystal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use Crystal. Put that Crystal hot sauce in there, whatever heat you want to your taste. This is where I'm not going to put a measurement because you don't know. Hey, see, I'm not, we're not even doing the sweet potato fries today. because I, I didn't want to ask. Yeah, we would. We bought them. I, I, at the salmon egg, I was going to do the whole garlic. Honey thing we talked about with the, the I had all that. I so was I was, I was gonna do a whole nother sauce and then you showing up right now. See, this is I said I was on my way, I called you. My phone is on do not disturb. You wanna buy me a webcam so I can do this some more? Taste the uh the chicken. Anyway, uh that that's that's the basic thing. Make the sauce <laughs> and again, a and you'll see this on the um the recipe that will be posted up. If you do not want to go through making the sauce, pro tip, store-bought teriyaki sauce. I think Candy Express have one, a couple of them have it. Take that. You want heat, add you some heat to it, heat it up right there. Because basically everything I just did is how teriyaki sauce is made. These videos, these how-tos, these recipes, you will learn to be able to build on them to Put them in your repertoire, hopefully. With that said, thank you, thank you, thank you all for watching Create Simple Meals. Please share the video, like the video on Facebook, share the video, like the video on my YouTube channel, Create Simple Meals. And eventually, what, what time are we looking at? Eight months, nine months, a year and a half? A couple of weeks. About yeah. four and a half months to get done with the website. You know, my producer, he, he kind of slow. He wanted them he. It gotta be perfect, not good. I'm like, hey man, look, half the stuff you see, nobody else sees. Make the damn website. Anyway, create uh, simplemeals.com. We will start adding the content there. So we're trying to give you multiple formats Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, website, you know, because I want to meet the folks that know about websites. And then all these tweeners and what do they call them now? Millennials. Millennials, yeah. Millennials, millennials, yeah. That's into everything else. I got food in my teeth, and I guarantee it's one of them teeth. Ain't not near one of y'all bastards if said not one time. You Can't got some chicken caught between your teeth. You know what? We good. Thank y'all for watching. Next week, I don't know what we're going to do. But if you have something that you would like to see featured on Create Simple Meals, please inbox me. If you know me personally, text me, give me something to cook. If not, Tony going to sit here and be like, Uncle JV, can you make this? And I'm going to say, okay. Although, that gumbo pie that your homeboys them do, 
we're gonna make that for New Year's. I don't know if I'm gonna do that live or not. Matter of fact, maybe I can entice the producer to come out here, we produce that video and post that. Sign complain, sign complain. Thank y'all for watching. As Russell Simmons says, God bless you, good night.